well. After widespread criticism, the government has reversed course on imposing the 20% tax collected at source on all overseas credit card transactions. It has now said that the 20% ECS will only apply on overseas transactions above that 7 lakh rupee limit. So, Sapna Das is here with all of the details. Yeah, Sapna. The government has taken serious note of the kind of feedback that has come. And I think uh, in our discussions also, we were primarily focused on the fact that this is going to be a huge inconvenience as far as the small taxpayer is concerned, as far as this, you know, the, the salary class is con uh, concerned, most likely. So keeping all of this in mind, up to 7 lakhs, they will, uh, up to 7 lakhs of, uh, you know, uh, payments uh, in foreign exchange uh, using your international debit and credit cards, uh, you know, that is not going to be part of your liberalized remittance scheme. Uh, so once that's not part of the LRS, the TCS is also not going to be applicable. Now why the 7 lakh limit? If you look at the budget closely, uh, you know, your health spend and your education spend, uh, you know, which uh, uh, the limits over there are 7 lakh. Up to 7 lakh, there is no TCS on that front. Beyond 7 lakhs, uh, you know, there is a 5% and there is a, uh, you know, there, there is a, a very limited 0.5% in terms of your education loan, so on and so forth. So I think keeping that in mind and trying to give this big relief uh, signal to the common taxpayer, to the honest taxpayer, the government has gone and done, done this. What about beyond 7 lakhs? Definitely beyond 7 lakhs, your 20% TCS is going to be applicable. And quite possibly, uh, you know, in the liberalized remittance scheme, uh, you know, that they will uh, issue it uh, separately, they will notify the changes separately. Uh, they might have to say that, uh, you know, it's not it, only up to 7 lakhs is exempt. Beyond that, I think the LR, LRS uh, will still be applicable. So that's something you need to keep in mind. All right, Sapna, thanks a lot for filling us in with all of those big uh, details that came through. And, uh, you know, like I mentioned, quite a relief to a lot of us as well. But with that, it is time for a short break on the show. When we come back, we're going to shift focus and talk about the world of commodities. There's a lot of action there as well. So stay tuned for the updates.